Well, the president of the American Academy of Pain Medicine told us doctors across the country are over-interpreting new federal guidelines regarding opioid abuse. You know, this comes as we continue to hear from veterans very concerned about the federal government's efforts to reduce and in some cases eliminate their pain medications. Nate Morbido continues to ask questions about this major change. Josh and Sarah, Mountain Home VA is basing its decision to reduce opioids partly on new guidelines released by the Centers for Disease Control earlier this year, recommendations that urge caution when prescribing the painkillers. But the president of the American Academy of Pain Medicine told us nowhere in those guidelines does it say doctors shouldn't prescribe opioids. Dr. Daniel Carr says as much as we'd like there to be a right or wrong approach here, there is not when it comes to the use of opioids to treat long-term non-cancer pain. Instead, he says it's based on the individual person, their condition, and their history. The application of what were meant to be guidelines and case-by-case -case recommendations to make them rigid rules intended to apply to all patients has left many patients caught in the middle through no fault of their own. Generally, the VA is tapering veterans off of the painkiller, especially those on high doses, veterans who are also on anti-anxiety medications, and those with other health issues, some of them you see there. Factors a VA doctor told us can contribute to overdoses and other complications. The American Academy of Pain Medicine's president told us there are subgroups of patients where the risks do outweigh the benefits. Those on higher doses with mental health issues like depression or anxiety, for example. But he said there are other subgroups where the benefits outweigh the risks, like people on low stable doses who've tried alternatives that haven't worked.